Hello YouTube, welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. And before we get into today's video and you know the deck that I'm using and all that, I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, I've been keeping most of you updated on how the event's going for me, but this is, uh, in my opinion, ridiculous. Look at the look at these drops. So I was able to get my second Jurassic World finally. Uh, I still only have the one Destroyosaurus that I got in my very first farm. I haven't seen anything, uh, any of them ever since. But here I have six of this card, ten big evolution pill, which I'm pretty sure I had three when this event started. Same goes for hunting instinct, ten hunting instinct. I am so sick of seeing this card. And then look at this: 51 two-headed king ranks, 59. Uh, I mean, 54, 59. 51 uh, I'm a little salty to be honest uh, especially because <laughs> some of you guys left comments uh, on the picture that I posted that you know you somebody had like seven Jurassic World somebody uh, mo some people already have their three uh, destroy stars so hopefully you guys can wish me some luck and uh, my farms go better from now on but let's go ahead and get into today's video um, so th this deck started because uh, somebody in my Discord said that they would have liked to see an Angelo 7 deck. I believe that was uh, Hibiki. I'm pretty sure that's who it was. And uh, so this uh, it, it started as that. And then I thought, uh, what else can I negate? Because as you know, when you tribute summon uh, Angelo 7, uh, the effect the effects of effect monsters cannot be activated. So, Kribos can be activated. Um, you know, Warm Worm. Any any monster effect uh, cannot be activated. If the effect is continuous, however, like in the um, um, Invader of Darkness, for example, uh, his effect does not begin a chain. Uh, therefore, it's not affected by Angelo 7. So, your opponent cannot activate Quick Play, eh, quick play Spell Cards. So anyway, after um, after I was thinking about what to do with Angelo 7, uh, obviously the main card that came into my mind was Mecha Phantom Beast Hamstrat, which a lot of you guys were missing, so it's back here at 3, uh, you know, the MVP of this deck probably, and um, I know a lot, of you, a lot of you guys wanted to see it back. So we're using this, you know, for Tribute Fodder for Angelo 7, but I... I didn't want to just focus on Angelo 7, so that's why I added two Invader of Darkness because uh, Invader of Darkness covers quick play spell cards. So, you know, I have Angelo 7 for monsters, I have Invader of Darkness for spells, quick play spells. So then I went with uh, one Sergeant Electro uh, for the back row, and the reason why I only added one is because his effect begins a chain. So if you have Angelo 7, um, you can't activate Sergeant Electro's effect. However, if you already activated his effect and he's already uh, has a trap pinned down and you summon Angelo 7, that trap card is going to stay pinned down. So it, it's a nice to have. And then I'm running 3 Mirage Dragon, which uh, this covers a battle phase trap card. So, you know, your opponent can't activate, uh, I mean, they can still activate them, they just can't activate them during the battle phase. So they have to prematurely activate Windstorm, they have to prematurely activate um, Mirror Wall and you know, and you're safe from cards like Michizur, uh, Blast Hell by Attribute which actually happened to me today, I was pretty sad. Uh, I still won that game. But anyway, um, that's why Mirage Dragon is here. So as long as you can cover two things, like usually if I can get Angelo 7 on the field and a Mirage Dragon. I pretty much win the game, my opponent just quits, or there's really nothing they can do. Um, if you have a Mirage Dragon and you have Invader of Darkness, again, you're pretty much set because you're covering both uh, Quick Play spells and Battle Phase uh, Trap cards. If you if you happen to get the entire field, uh, the entire lineup on the field, you can take care of Quick Play spells, traps during the Battle Phase, and monster effects. I actually managed to pull that off a couple times. Um, that's one of the pictures that I posted on um, 
on my community page and that's just it, it's pretty crazy uh, you know you you take care of effect monsters you take care of uh, traps and you take care of quick play spells so anyway um, the main idea of the deck is you know to summon your big monster and then just protect it so that's where the entire uh, where the rest of the engine comes in two super rush for protection three enemy controllers for protection two mirror walls Again, for protection, and then the one windstorm for uh, more added protection. So that's that's all. That's all uh, the spell and traps. I'm running one uh, mausoleum of the emperor. You can probably swap this out for another super rush or anything else you want to add. Maybe curse of Anubis. I added this for the simple uh, for the simple chance of maybe getting the. The three monsters on the field, like I said, because if I if I already have Angelo Seven and I already have uh, Mirage Dragon, I can use this card to summon my uh, Invader of Darkness. Because you know we only have three slots, so it's really hard to be able to get all three of them in the field. This just adds that little uh, you know spicy tech to to maybe get the entire field. Um, you can summon Angelo Seven using this card, but it's not gonna have the effect because you didn't tribute for it. I'm running restart because the card that I want to see every game uh, in my starting hand is uh, Mega Phantom Beast and restart just helps us uh, get to that. So that's it for the deck. Uh, it's just something fun, something I threw together because I saw it on the uh, you know the Discord. Uh, you guys know that I I try to you know do as many requests as I can if I have the cards and if I have an idea that maybe hasn't been done or you know a different take on a specific card or archetype so anyway I did win a lot of games but the replays were not always very entertaining so um, you know this might not be the most entertaining video but uh, the deck is, is actually pretty pretty good so here I open up with my Mecha Phantom Beast like I said we, we try to every time I summoned my two tokens and then I just start attacking. Uh, he didn't set any, he didn't summon any monsters. He all he has is a full back row. Um, I'm still attacking. I have my Mirage Dragon, but I can't summon it. He goes for uh, what's the name of this card? Heavy Knight of the Flame, and he attacks my uh, Hamstrad, which is not a, the greatest of ideas because it can't be destroyed while there's a token on the field. So I try to Econ Take in order to summon my uh, Invader of Darkness. He responds with his own Econ Take, uh, but he can't do anything beyond that. And then just in my turn, I summon Invader of Darkness. He can't activate his back row because I, I've covered uh, quick play spells and I've covered traps. So uh, pretty easy win. I realized my opponent didn't do much, but again, um, it was a little hard to get you guys some good replays. Like I said, I got a lot of wins, but uh, they were very quick wins. Like some people would just rage quit to Invader of Darkness. Some people would just rage quit to Sergeant Electro with three back row. Um, but it was just gold, so you know. I I guess at at that rank, people if they can win uh, a quick duel, they just end up quitting. So this was kind of the best I could get. Uh, here I have my Angelo Seven and I have my Mecha Phantom Beast. But I'm just waiting because I don't know what this man's running. Uh, I get my Invader of Darkness, and I think I still go for Angelo 7, yeah. So he has the enemy controller. Um, Angelo 7 has a weak defense, but uh, you know that's why you want to run all the protection that you run. Uh, Super Rush, Windstorm, I wasn't worried. And then I have my Mirage Dragon, so now I've, like I said, I've taken care of the traps during the battle phase. Even though my opponent had a full back row, he just rage quit. Uh, he couldn't activate any monster effects and you know uh, that's how a lot of these games went and this was a this was a good matchup against uh, Sacred Phoenix uh, I don't I don't think I actually pull out uh, any of my big monsters but um, it, it's kind of crazy how one Sergeant Electro uh, can do so much like I was really surprised uh, I know Sergeant Electro is good but when you have ways to protect it it's just it's borderline broken to be honest 
So here I summon my Sergeant Electro, uh, I pinned that card face down, and then I uh, I just set my Super Rush because I, I knew that most likely his entire deck was fire. So I didn't I didn't want to waste any of my other cards because I figured uh, there was going to be a Sacred Phoenix play. So I pinned the other back row and I attack him for 3200. Uh, I set my Windstorm so I can uh, chain it to Sacred Phoenix. So he can destroy both of our monsters, or at least that's what I thought. But he actually Econ takes um, in order to destroy both of my monsters by attacking uh, into each other. But I top deck the Muslim of the Emperor, and I do the Econ take play just to BM a little bit, because that's that's pretty much what he did with his Econ take, and uh, a pretty easy win. But this was one of those. Uh, rare duels where I don't get um, where I don't get my uh, hamstrat to start the duel which is the main reason of running restart I, I really want to see that card in my opening hand and here I'm going to bring this Yugi There's my Hamstrat, there's my Angelo 7. So I go ahead and flip summon that, tribute my tokens, and then that Dekoichi can activate effect, so I uh, he doesn't get the draw, and I just attack for 1100. I get my Invader of Darkness, so here I've taken care of quick play spells and monster effects. He does have the traps, uh, so he's able to stall for one turn. But I'm assuming he didn't get anything, so he just ends turn and I'm able to win. Again, a, a very quick duel. This is how most of the duels went. But I did save the last replay for when, when I was able to pull out uh, the entire field. Uh, that was actually the main goal uh, in this particular duel, just because my opponent wasn't wasn't really doing much and. Uh, and I figured I'd try and see if I could get what I call the dream field on that uh, picture I posted. But anyway, he's running mind scan. I have my Invader of Darkness and I have Angelo 7. And, and that's the cool thing. Uh, when you have both, you can decide which one you want to go with. Um, most of the time, I go for Angelo 7. Because I feel like monster effects are, uh, are a little bit more important in this format that we're in. He tries to go for Dark Droid but his effect can't activate. And also because um, you can you know you can summon Invader of Darkness with the Mausoleum and it still has its effect but you can't do the same for uh, Angelo 7. You have to tribute. So I always prioritize summoning uh, Angelo 7 over Invader of Darkness but it really depends on the situation. Here I have uh, two of the three pieces. I have Mirage Dragon, I have Angelo 7. He's just ending turn, and then I top deck the Muslim of the Emperor. So I have the, the complete field. He knows the game is over, so he just activates his Metamorph. And uh, I just attack per game, but literally he, he couldn't do anything uh, once that field was out. But I kind of wish uh, the deck would have been would have been tested a little bit more. I just don't have a lot of time to record and this was kind of the best duels I could get. Um, if I really enjoy this deck, so if you guys want to see this, we might uh, we might use this during the Friday stream. Um, I'm gonna post it on on the community as well, but I'll go ahead and, and let you guys know that I will be streaming tomorrow, uh, Friday at either 8 or 9 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. I'm still not sure, it's probably gonna be 9 p.m. Um, I hope to see you guys there and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Till next time.